Welcome to the weekly service recording from Watton Methodist Church for Sunday, September the 20th, 2020. This week in Watton, we mourn the passing of Sonia Thompson and we share in the sadness that Trevor and the family are feeling at this time. We celebrate Sonia's lifelong walk with God and her commitment to a Christian life. The Bible reading this week is Psalm 65 and it's read for us by Jenny Lusher. This week's message comes from Jackie Horton, our minister and circuit superintendent. We open this morning's act of harvest worship with a short opening prayer. Lord of the harvest, we offer you our worship. We adore you and thank you for the beauty and the bounty of the world which you have made. Lord of the harvest, accept our offering of praise. Amen. Our opening hymn this morning is found in neither Singing the Faith nor Hymns and Psalms, and in fact comes from the Methodist Hymn Book number 967. Now the year is crowned with blessing, and we're singing verse 1 and verse 3. And now some ideas for your own Harvest Thanksgiving prayers. You might think of a foodstuff beginning with each letter of Harvest and thank God for each one. Or you could look in a cupboard for packets and tins, make a small display and thank God for the foodstuff and for the provision of their raw ingredients. If you'd like to, Send a photo of your home display to centralnorfolk at outlook.org or by post to Pine View, Moor End Lane, Stibbard and we'll create a photo album on our website to celebrate our personal harvest festivals. A reading for harvest, Psalm 65 Praise awaits you, O God in Zion. To you our vows will be fulfilled. O ye who hear prayer, to you all men will come. When we were overwhelmed by sins, you forgave our transgressions. Blessed are those you choose and bring near to live in your courts. We are filled with the good things of your house, of your holy temple. 
You answer us with awesome deeds of righteousness, O God our Saviour. The hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas, who formed the mountains by your power, having armed yourself with strength, who stilled the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the turmoil of the nations. Those living far away fear your wonders. Where morning dawns and evening fades, you call forth songs of joy. You care for the land and water it. You enrich it abundantly. The streams of God are filled with water to provide the people with grain, for so you have ordained it. You drench its furrows and level its ridges. You soften it with showers and bless its crops. You crown the year with your bounty, and your carts overflow with abundance. The grasslands of the desert overflow. The hills are clothed with gladness. The meadows are covered with flocks, and the valleys are mantled with grain. They shout for joy and sing. Thanks be to God. To help you think about that reading, look through Psalm 65 and count how many blessings or gifts from God can you find. Make a list and then think about which blessings mentioned here or not mentioned here are the most significant ones for you today. We went blackberrying recently to a place on the North Norfolk coast where we, we knew there were blackberries. We'd been there before. All the same, I was again struck, as I have so often been in the past, by the sheer abundance of the number of blackberries. There were ripe, juicy ones, a plenty for the picking, and many red ones for future ripening. I thought about other people who might also want a home-picked blackberry and apple crumble. I was worried about depriving them. But then on a moment's thought, I, I cried out spontaneously, but there is plenty for everyone. And so there is in our world, even though, and of course, we heard David Attenborough uh, talking at a week ago, even though we overpick, collect for ourselves only, do not share, we allow injustice and unfair trade, we waste food, we engage in pollution and deforestation, we drive animals to extinction through our thoughtlessness and unhealthy behaviours. And yet there is enough for everyone. I love verse 9 of Psalm 65. You crown the year with your bounty and your carts overflow with abundance. God doesn't just give his children good things. He gives them an abundance of good things and wants us to give abundantly back to him and abundantly to other people. Harvest Festival in our own day and age is somehow a time for celebration but also for repentance and commitment to do better all rolled into one. A prayer of confession. There is a response in this prayer which you may wish to join in with. After the prompt, In Your Mercy, the response is, forgivers and helpers. If you're watching the YouTube version, that will appear in blue type on the screen. Let us pray. O oh God our Father, we confess that we have often used your gifts carelessly and acted as though we were not grateful. Hear our prayer and... In your mercy, forgive us 
and help us. When we enjoy the fruits of the harvest, but forget they come from you, then, Father, in your mercy, forgive us and help us. When we are full and satisfied, but ignore the cry of the hungry and those in need, then, Father, in your mercy, forgive us and help us. When we are thoughtless and do not treat with respect or care the wonderful world you have made, then, Father, in your mercy, forgive us and help us. When we store up goods for ourselves alone, as if there were no God and no heaven, then, Father, in your mercy, forgive us and help us. Grant us thankful hearts and a loving concern for all people. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now in a moment of quiet, it's your chance to offer to God your offertory for the week. If it's cash, you may wish to put it aside in a special place for when we are back together. The Lord's Prayer Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And now, a prayer of commitment. Almighty God, you have provided the resources of the world to maintain the life of your children, and have so ordered our life that we are dependent on each other. Bless us all in our daily work, and, as you have given us the knowledge to produce plenty, so give us the will to bring it within reach of all. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. And now a prayer for and with the family of Sonia. Father, we pray with and for the family of Sonia Thompson in their time of bereavement and sadness, that they may find peace in your love and comfort in Sonia's triumphant passing to be with her Lord. Amen. We close this morning's worship with a favourite harvest hymn, number 130 in Singing the Faith, We Plough the Fields and Scatter, 
and we're singing all three verses. May the blessing of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with us and all those we love, this day and always. Amen.